Would it surprise you at all to learn that Riot's father is an abusive embodiment of toxic masculinity? Because Riot's father is an abusive embodiment of toxic masculinity. Yeah, he's awful. So, the Stingers have uh, put out their first album, and uh, Riot, who has not seen his mother and father for five years since he left home, we'll get into that, uh, goes home and presents them with the present of a vinyl of their first album. Isn't that sweet? And his father, who is an abusive embodiment of toxic masculinity, says, How dare you set foot here with your sissy rock music and wussy, girlish, foofy hair, whatever. Get out! No son of mine plays rock music and he throws the vinyl album in the pool and the mother's like, Oh, honey, please, it's our son. Blah, blah, blah. Shut up, Mildred. Um, yeah, he, hmm, Riot's father's not good. So, um... Riot leaves, you know, says, goodbye, mother, and leaves. And uh, there's a party at uh, Stinger's Sound uh, celebrating their album. And uh, Gem the Holograms are invited. So uh, they, they go to the party, and the camera pans across, and you see the Stingers, and it keeps panning, and you see Riot leaning against the wall. I'm like, meh? There are cardboard standees of the stingers at the party and they're in a couple shots and it throws me off every time because i think there's an animation mistake where they drew the character twice <laughs> it's just cardboard standee um another thing i noticed I, were the the misfits aren't there were they not invited they work in the same building. Did, did nobody invite the misfits? Because did, did anybody tell the misfits? Because I imagine if they heard about it, they'd be there whether they were invited or not. It's true what I've been saying. Nobody likes the misfits. Oh, aren't they going to be sore when they learn there was a party in the building they work at? And Jem and the Holograms were invited to attend, but they were not. Hmm. One of the Limp Lizards is there, uh, talking to Shayna, so it's nice to see that they're friends. Lena Lerner is there, and Johnny Deacon, or whatever, the, uh, the, uh, the Jam Jam characters, right? Um, but no misfits. Hmm. Anyway, uh, Riot is leaning against the wall, brooding, brooding. And uh, Jem goes over and says, hey, what's wrong? He's, nothing. And um, eventually the uh, father shows up and punches him out. He says, your mother is in the hospital and it's all your fault. Says, what? So Jem drives him to the hospital and mom is uh, dying of uh, plot convenience. So um, she is so upset with these two being at each other's throat that she's prepared to just uh, slough off this mortal coil. She's had enough of this. In fact, Riot and um, Riot's daddy start arguing in the hospital room, and she's like so over this bullshit that she just flatlines immediately. Uh, they they defib her back uh, back to a steady heartbeat, and they're like, "You two out." Until my patient is better. You are banned. No visiting. So, um, Riot and, uh, uh Jem takes Riot home. He invites her in for coffee. And, um, it's, you know, nothing sexual. It's just they're sitting on two different couches and he, he tells her about his life. Um, he grew up with his mother and father. His father's a big military guy. And whenever his father would catch 
a young Rory uh, uh, showing an interest in music, like playing the piano, he would call him emasculating names and spank his ass. Because again, his father is an abusive embodiment of toxic masculinity. Um, you know, found him playing the guitar and smashed his guitar and uh, made him join the military. And um, it's starting to get kind of an idea of why Riot is the way he is, aren't we? Hmm. Uh, so he goes into the military. He absolutely hates it, but uh, he's goes to a bar or something, and uh, Nirvana is playing. No, not that, that Nirvana. Although this would have been, what, 88 was... Nirvana actually around yet? They were 90s. I don't know if they started early enough for that to have actually been a group, but whatever. Anyway, um, look it up on Wikipedia if you're interested. Um, so uh, he's like, oh, that's what I want to do. Uh, well, they have an opening for a guitarist, so he goes AWOL and joins them and tours around Europe with them and uh, then immediately gets arrested <laughs> and sent home. And immediately leaves because his father's you're a disgrace to this family and the country get out i have no son harumph and mildred mom is standing there going oh 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 this 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 family strife is going to kill me one day and um so rory leaves and he uh, rejoins nirvana and then he strikes out on his own as a musician. Minx was actually a member of Nirvana, so she strikes out with him. They pick up Rapture, and they wander around Europe and play for pennies on the street, and uh, it takes them a while, but eventually they get a following, and then they uh, get an offer to uh, play at a club in America, and here they are now, five years later. They're a, they're a well-known band. Um, they're even on Lindsay's show. And they've cut their first album. So that, that's the story. And uh, what's interesting, uh, here, here's a funny bit. Uh, Jim is like, oh, yeah, that's, that's fascinating. Burr. Right? says, are you cold? And she says, yeah, a little. And, he says, and so he says, I'll light a fire. And so he lights a fire, and then he does the most amazing man spread in front of the fire. <laughs> It's like, I mean, I'm not sure if I'm more impressed with the man spread or the fact that uh, his hair doesn't immediately catch fire. Because I imagine there's some product in there, Rory. And I imagine it's flammable. So maybe, maybe uh, put those knees together and scooch away from the fireplace. Uh, so they stay up all night, him retelling his, his history to Jem. And she's like, oh, I understand you now. And she moves in for a kiss. I'm like, ah, Jerrica, for crying out loud, make up your mind. Um, I mean, you know, we're all adults here. You can be attracted to more than one person. But for Pete's sake, please figure out what you want to do. Um, so Jem is like, okay, these two are not going to talk to each other. And the mom is going to die if this keeps up. So I'm going to talk to the mom and see what's going on. So she sneaks into the hospital using a Synergy nurse costume, and I'm thinking, why don't you just visit during visiting hours? You weren't banned. Maybe it's family only. I don't know. But that's how she determines that, oh, okay, it's the, it's the animosity and the, the strife between these two that's literally killing her. Uh, so she talks to Rory's dad and says, look, yeah, she talks to Rory and Rory's dad separately and like, look, you t you guys got to get together and hash this stuff out because otherwise you are going to kill Mildred. And she's nice lady. She's not an abusive uh, uh, example of toxic man masculinity. She nice. Um, <clears throat> dad can go jump on a lake for all I care because I have no patience for people like that. But uh, Jem convinces him to go see one of Riot's shows, and he sees... Um, and she also retells some of his history that he didn't know, that, you know, he worked hard, even living on the street for a while with his bandmates, uh, 
playing on the street to raise money so they could eat and shelter themselves and work their way up to where they are now. It's like that takes, he never gives up. He, uh, you know, he's, he sticks to something once he starts it. Someone instilled those values in him. He's like, ha ha, damn right. So dad goes to see Rory's concert. He's impressed. He's like, huh, he's doing, I don't like this music, but he's doing something that everyone likes. And they hug it out and they go visit mom in the hospital and they say, we love you. We don't want you to slough up this mortal coil. So we'll behave and we'll, we'll, we'll be nice and not scream at each other if you promise not to die. And Mildred says, okay, I'll stick around a bit longer. But if you two act up, I'm just going to keel over dead. Corrupt. My music was the only thing that helped me keep it all together while I was growing up. Every year we moved to a new town. You get tired of saying goodbye to a new set of friends every year. 